Excessive movement on the handbrake uh, on this uh, Toyota Hilux uh, Mark 6. Mark 7 is just the same. Handbrake comes straight to the top. Now there are three adjustments on these things. Uh, two on the handbrake cable, uh, one's underneath the body and one is in the cab behind the handbrake or at the side of the handbrake actually. And the third one is uh, the brake shoes themselves. So we're just going to take the uh, drums off. That's the first thing. There is no point in adjusting the cables if the uh, shoes need adjusting. There are two tapped holes in the uh, drums for 8mm screws. Uh, so we're just going to uh, tighten those up to withdraw the uh, drum. And it's coming off so easily that uh, straight away I suspect that the uh, shoes are far out of adjustment. Right, immediately we can see that the uh, shoes need uh, replacing because there is very very little uh, friction left on uh, this one, the leading shoe. The trailing shoe as normal has uh, more material left on it uh, but that is no help at all. First things, we need to loosen off the handbrake cable and there is an adjuster just behind the handbrake lever which you can access by pulling that uh, slider to one side. Just where my finger is, you can just see the end of the uh, thread there. Long 10 millimeter uh, socket and uh, count the turns that you undo it by. It's even easier to access the nut if you undo the two uh, screws in the bottom of the uh, glove box so that you can push the console over a little bit. Well, I'm underneath the right hand side of the vehicle now, uh, about halfway along, and uh, this is the other adjustment for the handbrake. It goes down to the uh, right hand uh, rear wheel. Uh, and the, the whole arrangement is rather bizarre, uh, kind of a bell crank and the handbrake cable to the other side of the vehicle uh, doesn't have a separate adjustment. So one of the first things we really ought to do is check that the pistons in the slave cylinder are free by uh, moving the uh, shoes backwards and forwards and they are indeed free. Then we need to move these two clips which hold the shoes back to the uh, back plate uh, you have to push the clip in and downwards or backwards like that. Note where it flies off to take the pin out of the back. Mm -hmm. Now it's always a good idea to take a photograph of uh, where all the springs are. It uh, doesn't cost us anything nowadays to take these photographs. And the first spring to remove is the bottom spring. like that, which frees off the uh, shoes and we should be able to lift the whole assembly out of the way. Just like that. Leaving it held on by nothing more than the uh, Handbrake cable. So we pull the handbrake cable spring back and remove the handbrake cable like that. Now I'm just uh, figuring out for you the uh, arrangement of the springs and I've found that uh, on these new brake shoes the roll pin for the uh, brake adjuster is missing so we're going to have to take the roll pin out of this old uh, shoe and put it in the new one uh, because that is the pivot point for the uh, brake adjuster. Clean the adjuster mechanism make sure all the threads uh, are free that is unless you're replacing it. There is a small component with a key in the back of it which goes in the keyway in the telescoping part 
and faces the back plate. And there is a little spring clip which goes onto the adjuster and holds the adjuster to the main spring. The telescoping part of the adjuster goes onto the shoes in that fashion and this spring goes onto the rearmost shoe first. There is a large hole at the back and then there is a diagonal hole in the opposing shoe. So if you manipulate the shoes in this fashion you can get the main spring on and then fix the small spring clip onto the stem of the spring. Hey presto! Once on the vehicle uh, the lever part of the mechanism fits underneath the end of the telescoping part of the mechanism and onto the roll pin and then there is a spring which fits under the uh, lever and onto the uh, hole in the bottom of the brake shoe. This holds the lever against the uh, ratcheting wheel and of course the uh, bottom spring goes on the uh, brake shoes. Awkward as can be this next bit, uh, you need to hold that spring back while you get the hook of the handbrake actuating mechanism onto the inner cable. I find the best way to do it is to force the spring back then hold the inner cable with some uh, little mole wrenches or vice grips. So we get the brake shoes into the sockets at the bottom of the back plate and onto the uh, pistons of the cylinder which is easier said than done. Make sure the adjuster is in the right position and pop the rest of the springs and clips back on. So first of all we're going to put these uh, retaining clips on. Uh, easier said than done, they're very strong clips. I held them down with a screwdriver like that and then uh, put the pin into them. I'm just going to take the slack up on the adjuster because I did uh, screw it down all the way to make putting the spring on easier. And in the back of the back plate there is a slot that you can fit a lever through to adjust the brakes manually if the uh, uh, self adjuster isn't working. Now the adjuster and the adjuster spring. Now there's just the bottom spring to put on. Yep. And finally, most importantly, you have to uh, make sure the uh, brake cable is back in its guides, which are behind the hub at the bottom. Awkward little job, but there we are. And we just drum back on and uh, adjust the brakes a bit from the uh, back. I just worked the brake pedal a few times to uh, make sure the adjusters are working. We decided to put the wheels uh, back on before we did the road test too. Uh, it is normal procedure after all.